Welcome back to Ace Attorney Finish Right Trilogy. In the last video, the Big Man, the Big Fish, the Big Chief Damon Gant decides to roll up into the courtroom after he has not been in the courtroom for two years. And he came in with a couple key evidence to change the case a little bit of who actually uh, killed one detective. He mentioned was there was there was murder two different locations, and he said he apprehended a couple suspects that quick. But I smell foul play around. Somebody else might be tampering evidence somewhere. But with that being said, grab your snacks, get your drink. Detective Reaper is here to come to save the day. February 23, 2.15 p.m. Right at co-office, law office. Uh-huh, Mr. Wright, so... What's going on with the case anyway? I... I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, um, let's see. What's going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 o'clock on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's park lock and the police evidence room. What's this? And the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police bar are 30 minutes apart from the car. Well, that's what we're going to find out, or at least, at, or try to at least. All right, let's do it. Glad she's in good spirit, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick rim glasses are my art just for show. Let's go, science waiters. Okay. Paragraph 23rd, Prosecutor Office, Underground Parking Lot. Oh, yeah. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in the evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. They all drunk. Was it empty? The all drunk kicked over by the... Chief Prosecutor was brimming with water. My sister erasing evidence at the crime scene? Never! Even though she said they don't get along, Emma really like her sister. That's not it at all. It just... We're both professional at what we do, and I trust her. Big word for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my signs at your own pearls, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? This situation called for one thing, and it is luminol testing fluid. Luminol? Blood is sticky stuff. You know, you can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Well, wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. Me? Why do I have to ha why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood strain with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look, I lend you these glasses. Huh? You have an extra pair of those things? Oh. To test for blood reaction, just spray the lumina onto it. Like this. Press enter to spray on it. Okay, let's find. Some, okay, let's find some blood stains. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, the world some blood stains. We got something. We got something. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So, is this a blood stain? Um, it's so, uh... Emma, you shaking? It just... This is my first time seeing real blood. Scientist of investigation action, huh? Okay, well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But, does it such strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this, scientifically? Mmm, the blood 
Ooh, the blood stain location, the amount of blood, the location. Why the locate? Why the blood stain location? Of course, is elementary. Huh? What is that elementary? I mean, I would think that if there's a fight, you expect some blood stains here. I suppose you might think that. Come on, Miss Ray, we all count on you. There's something odd about that blood stain. But if that's not the location of the blood, then maybe, maybe the amount of blood is odd. I definitely think so. I mean, look at the, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there would have to be more blood than this. Um, hey, Mr. Wright. I'm going to mock up the floor plans where we find a blood stain, okay? Okay. See? I'm pretty happy to have around, right? Uh, you're okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, and this stuff, pretty handy too. I save up my allowance to buy that. So, Illumina has been received from one very proud looking Emma Sky. We can't be sure that the police will reveal all the evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Then let's drag that hidden evidence out of the light of day. Yeah! It feels like we're really investigating crime now, doesn't it? Guess I should get us a spray on anything suspicious. Huh. Oh, look who's back. I wonder how that fluid of yours we read to a nice deli box. Miss Star! You only trust your own eyes, huh? Not bad, you two. This day old deli boss is on the house. I don't want that crap. Sorry, it just that kind of lid, it doesn't really get my mouth watering. Well, since you're already here, I'll just ask you some questions. You certainly, you certainly, oh, come on, I gotta change my voice. You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but. No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry? You lied on the witness there. That's unforgivable. Uh oh. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the event was from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Huh? I swear on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? So, you were a detective, were you, Miss Star? Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hard in the criminal when they face me, they cough it up. Cough it, uh, cough it up. They confess. They babble like babies. You know. I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt that. Every day, I try to throw out of mouths of suspect after suspect, and before long, they call me the cough up queen. And here's I thought someone has gotten food poison from your lunches. And you were let go at fire? I felt that I had found my dream job when I was an investigator. And if these prayers of pro prosecutors hasn't let me go, I'll still be one today. Okay. It's all because of that, the SL9 incident. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... Okay. Um, okay. Did she give me something? Okay. Okay. Um, right, let's see here. Did you get any other photos? Alright, let's see. Okay. Q, Q, Q. Alright, let's back out of this. Back out of this. 
Let's visit her. Let's see what she know about this. Is it her this? No. No, E. Present. Present. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture for the guard room. But Eve, I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime? I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The whole in my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, so you lying was the problem. Listen, little girl, I had my testimony disregarded before. And I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time? Okay. Okay, let's present this to us. See what you have to say about that. Um, what do you think about this? The SL9 incident. It's written on that knife. And on that note. Goodman? Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? That knife was evidence from that case, the murder weapon. It was due for transfer the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected, SL9 isn't over, not yet. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Yeah, talk to us some more. Tell us about this incident. That incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. Well, nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? To who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I ever handled. Oh. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive, decisive evidence. So, they didn't solve it. On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was they never did find these sets of evidence, not in the shred. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence, of a sort, made up evidence. What? what? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came seven months after the trial. Every detective involved in the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to the patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those. Myself and one other person you know well. Hey, could that be? Exactly. Detective Jake Marshalls. Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshalls. Wow. As professional detectives, we will investigate that case for every angle. Jake was particularly determined. And then it was over. He was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9. There was another side to that case, a hidden side that was we after now, and no one in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait! Those lunches you sell! There was only one reason I come to sell lunches in this acute office. I come here to meet old friends. Boyfriend that can't help me investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriend, how many does she have anyway? Just when all the Teto SL9 had to spare, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, rookie. What? what? It seems you like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. Then you should take this. Well, at least that look kind of decent. What is it? It's Salisbury State Line. Okay, that's more like it, uh, Angel Star. You are right. I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this tree. Receive from Mr. Essay for the office of good move. Hmm. Um. Oh, uh, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is it yours or your his? Are you going out? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. 
A long time ago, he was helping my sister do cases. He was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too, back then. This would be when Officer Monster was a detective. But now, he's so cold. Checking out Omega Incorporated on his investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. Uh, I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall, huh? Alright, so. We got done talking to you. We appreciate that. There's a door right there. Look! A door! This must mean something! I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open. A mysterious lock! I failed to see what's mysterious about a door. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to draw life more. Let's finish our investigation, shall we? Alright, let's see here. Okay, we're sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Okay, don't see anything else. Everything else is covered. Let's see. Go back over here. Alright, it should be. Alright, we gotta move somewhere. Where do we move to? Our post to your office, detention, police is up in interest. Okay, let's go there. Maybe he's hanging around over there. February 23rd, police department entrance. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives were running around so fast they're blurry. I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed here after all. So, the evidence room, the scene of the crime. Our coach and the family we got at the front desk. Here it is. She like a kid in amusement park. Oh, and real crime scene. Let's go take a look. All right, let's go take a look. Uh, yeah, let's go take a look. Guard station. Criminal department. Did we go there? Oh. All right, we're at the guard station. What's with the decorators of this place? It's very eccentric. According to the paper, this is a guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime. It sure seems that way. Uh, oh. Uh. What's wrong? It's those cat that they're so prickly, so imposing, it's hard to think straight. If you can't handle cat that stay out of the desert. What I want to know is if this is a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. We both know that. Alright, let's just examine. It looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. I bet we could use this computer to check out who went in and out there. Yes, we can. And we shall. He's been drinking. Hmm. Yipes! They sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. I would think just one big one would be sufficient. These cactus? Oh, they're a lot like my sister, Ashley. How, how so? In case of the cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction. Just like her. Um, not so sure I see the resemblance. It's more of an attitude than their physical similarity. Oh, right. Okay. Alright, he got this. There's a security guard uniform hanging there. That's not a security, that's just cowboy stuff. It looks like more of a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... What was that called again? A punchy, a punchy, a pinchy. I know, a poochy. Hmm, wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information myself for the time being. Alright, she said Pancho. And he got it closed. This swinging door makes the play look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's now shut. You can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through there, the cactus will fall over. Ouch. I'll say I'll be more of a yeehaw myself. I just gotta take this stuff a little seriously. Okay. Can we go in? What is... 
claw hammers. He take his job a little too serious. He expect to catch something with that. He really think it's a wild wild west. Look on the floor, a lasso. Mm, looks like he set up to trap something. A trap here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here, but it's the last one instead. Miss. You sure have an active imagination. And we have this. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. No. It won't open. You thought it would be open? I think we need someone permission to go in there first. Okay. Oh, I'm going to the floor. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Alright, let's see. Oh, I'll skip all that. Uh, let's see. So, I think we got everything here. We'll just go back. We'll just move to... Oh, we back out here. This place is, this place is charged with frantic energy, as always. Please! Huh? What's in that? One state dealer, please! Oh, it's you! Detective Gumshoe! Now there's no time to chit chat. I'm a busy man! What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland! Oh, you mean the one of these? Actually, it's not for sale! I think I just hear the sound of his heart breaking. Now, no time for despair! Well, we caught our crew. Now we need some evidence. The criminal, you mean? You heard about the staff of the police department evidence room, right, pal? On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed in the police department. And a perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just the rest of in fact. It's the biggest schedule to hit the station in ages. Everything tops the turpsy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal. Oh, I know. I need a steak lunch. Pronto. Standing around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. Wait, don't leave. If you want to know more, let's head down to the detention center, pal. Question should be over, so I figure he's down to have a good cry. Later. He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running st Well, wrong person. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Alright, let's go to evidence There we go. Here's the place we're supposed to be at. Alright, we got it. February 23rd, Police Station Criminal Affairs Department. Wow, everyone looked deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder detective down the police station. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time the prosecutor lot. Oh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first thing first, let's go check out the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating. But don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants to hurt more mystery. No, I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here now. But it does look like anyone's going to help us much either. Okay, let's go to detention center. Okay, who this person is? Still, I do feel better about things a little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Best to not to go far down that road right now. Things were just getting confusing. What was that? What, what was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator. I say, I say I was a perpetrator again, sir. That's what I say. Oh no, this idiot, this idiot here. Ah, oh, oh, oh. ah, greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, but Mr. Ashworth, uh, it was a privilege. I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. It's Meekins. Officer Meekins, so you're going here at the detention center. No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report. No, sir. Um, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? 
You, Officer Meekins? You didn't, did you? Uh, perpetrator Officer Mercer reporting, sir! Hey, what? Now, this is an unexpected turn of events. He don't look like he did it. Ain't no way where I expect to believe that you did it. Sir, I'm a problem with General Farrell, sir! Sir! Ow, oh, I can hear you fine, Officer Beacons. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room. That's right, sir, because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now, the security officer was known in the office of marshals. M Marshal? Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room miners. That's when I saw him, sir. A special person in the evidence room. A special person, sir. A special person? Yo! What the heck is going on? What the heck is this guy doing? So, what happened then? After that, sir, I... I uh, everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. And when I came to, I was here in Chichen Center. How long were you out, days? Oh, my ass. What happened to your head? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could. Wrap it up, sir. And bandage on his hand. And bandage on his hand. Just like this guy. Interesting. Yeah, another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. First thing first, tell us how you hurt your hand. That's a bit. Uh, I don't mean a pride, but you are a perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppet dolls' eyes, sir. If you had to label me as a perpetrator of victim, sir, they label me victim. Um, I would, but you have to be in detention and alive and well as that. Ah, uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that, sir. Did you know the victim said to Goodman? Well, sir, if I have a label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'll say he leans heavily on the total stranger's side, sir. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny apartment before the flight of other creatures comfort, sir. I don't, any, I don't know any detectives, sir. So, if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I have no intention of killing him. Sir, none. Nor did I have him to collect or kill him, sir. At least someone here is more confused than I am. What happened to your hand? How about your hand? Did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I... Uh, don't you think you should just confess? But sir, sir, but that's not that I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, what it happened? When the detective pointed that knife at me, I just howled, sir. And then the next day I do, I was unconscious, sir. The next day you know you were... Wait a minute, wrong voice. The next day you knew you were... Huh. Then, when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir, all alone. Alone because... Because Detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hands, sir. All the shock, all the sorrow, sir. Can't you imagine how I feel, sir? The victim body disappeared. Hmm, that's some story. All right. I'm pretty sure he probably don't know what this is either. Off the can take a look at this for you. Hey, hey I'm scared of knives, sir. It's okay, I just want to take a look at it. That's it, sir. Last night, sir. That's the one, sir. I was at Apple, sir, in my dream, sir. And I was, I was being peeled. Oh, second though, you don't have to look at the knife. Yeah, he's overreacting to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. I don't think you know about this either. Hey, why do you have that? That's... From the day you will take a prosecutor's office? 
The day they detected the government body was found in Trump. So this means... That means I'm a free man. Innocent. If this is a dream, sir, then I hope I'll never wake up. If this is a dream, you better wake up right now. Okay, how about this? Um, do you think you go take a look at this? Hey! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's what? My hand was playing until this very moment. But sir, now remember. I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct! That car! That car was the cause of it all, sir. This... This ID card? Exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing. I better pry this in a little more deeper. Alright, trying to get more information out of you, buddy. Here we go. Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a lost little patrolman, a lost little lamb, if you will, sir. Oh. I didn't know Mr. Teddy Cooper who was in the evidence room. And that, why you thought he looked suspicious? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing. So he pointed at night at me. What? Sir, I assure you I was at fluster at you all right now. So I whoop and leap at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him? Do unto others before they do unto you. My own father's words, sir. What, what happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I woke, I was here. Right. Reason for arrest? So, Officer Meekins, why was it they arrest you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim who he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. Good point. And, and if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That, that's what I wanted to say, sir. That's it. I did, I did say something along those lines, sir. Huh? But you still end up here. They told me that I had to be him, sir, on that day, at that time. You gotta really defend yourself, Meekins. Detective Goodman was definitely in that evidence room. That's what they say. They say. But you don't remember the evidence clearly. And you say what they say, but we try to find out what you said. You was in the room. They're not. No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The crime! My crime! The crime saw the step out! It's there! It's me! It's on tape! Oh. Okay. And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry. Really sorry, sir. I hand out my badge. I don't deserve it. No, no, this. I have my own. Well, I guess we better go check out the crime scene. Oh, thank you for that. Well, it took me a while to figure out what I needed to figure out, but all I have to do is show the ID badge and we'll be on our way. Well, thank you, sir. You've been very helpful. I mean, very helpful. Oh, we're over here now. Hey, Mr. Ryan Fuchs, who's standing at the chief of the detective desk? It's police chief Cam. Oh. And you sure is it all? Hmm. You know what it means if there is anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's a more likely part. Oh, I can't get my words right. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely total perfect. We'll check all these drawers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pocket, hats. Under the seat cushion, behind the computer mount, inside the personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if it's anything turns up, you call me right away, deal? <laughs> yes, sir. We're scared to place again, sir. A chief and Teddy was very f a little flustered. Ah, uh -huh, right on, my boy. How'd you been? Swim much? Oh ho ho ho! Chief Gant, report for duty, sir. 
Why are you so loaded here, Mr. Wright? Oh boy. Man, we expect you to run to you this so soon. Okay. Um, is Ezra going to be okay? Oh, Wordy. Oh, you know, they do a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Well, yeah, they had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gordon Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant chair, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, right, old? Oh, damn. Vaughn Karma, son of a gun. Damn, you know, be everything. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40 year career. But in court, you fixed it, so he was caught for forging evidence. But wait, I didn't do anything wrong, he did for his evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of a turmoil, you might say. Why? They do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what the inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Wordy. What? what? Oh, damn, man. You know a lot of information, Gat. It's done what I, I tell you, the detective getting killed on that turf, too. I mean... Well, there, the prosecutors, I assume. Scientific speaking, it's impossible! Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Gutman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, Righto, I can't give away our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive. And I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most is all this hiding stuff, secrets. Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full time job. Just keep the chief of the trap shut. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? You saw that. Oops. I wonder what was that he wanted to do with the chief of detective to do. Let's see if we can find of this creature. Ask him. Alright, so. Oh, sorry you had to see that. Um, what is that the chief of police want you to do? Well, see over there? That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check if anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belongs to Teddy Goodman still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half completed. I lost... I lost item? Did that for Goodman? Lose something? The date is on February 21st. Better make a note of that just in case. A bad written report to the court record? I should really get back to investigate the police department crime scene. Perfect. I needed something. Alright, let's see. I need to take a look at... Look at... Okay. We'll talk Oh, permission. Oh, here we go. Permission enter. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Huh? Well, I never thought the day would come when Rido asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now, Rido. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate at all. Rido, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Hey, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow 50 dollars? I'd give him 50 dollars, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart content. Knock yourself out. It just is going to show you never know till you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Oh, hey, this is a Tetra ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for gifts, so don't lose it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Oh my god, it took me a while to figure out what I need to do. Hey, hey, it looks pretty cool on my level, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir, because, sir, we get to go to Evans' room now, sir. I think this place is bad phones on a girl. Alright, let's get the heck up out of here. Let's go to... Entrance... Move in, go on station, move into, oh, let's see, well, wait a minute, no, back out, 
What's up? This is Emmett. Yep. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have an ID card for Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha, uh -huh, the car reading is turned off. See? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what made my bam be in the sky so gray? Oh. Uh, Officer Marshalls, why does it have to be him? What's that? Why does it have to be him? Look for. As you may have some eyes, this here's my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That car you got there on your chest. That better be a sheriff badge in these parts. Yeehaw! Well, what you stand there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Those other car is on again. While we're here, I wonder if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboys, but I got no mind to, man to mangle with your home braves. You're busy then? Did I say that? I only say I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us, homebrew. Alright, fine. You wanna play these games here? Let's see you deal with this. Give me some questions. That smell, ah, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you from Texas? No, I just saw a special on TV the other day. It is from my baby. Um, yeah, Miss Star. What? What's this? What? What's wrong? A Philly State lunch? I see, I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. State lunch is an offer some Marshall. Alright, Bambino, you win. Ask mm -hmm, much, much, anything, much, much, smack. Finally, it seems like he's cooperating. He's willing to talk. Yes, thank God you willing to talk. What you got to say? Guard station. Home for some marshals? You ain't chose security for the evidence room, right? You got a good eye, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. I actually offered some meeting at the detention center told us. Ah, that poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name wrong, call him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when a stab occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I should be telling you this, but since I got the motor for a detective two years ago, well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire from the job, you know? So, what were you doing around 515 with a murder took place? Well... I reckon I was gathered down the highway on the back of the must be see Zippy. No, he was driving down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. These new fango machines do a bang up job keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take I don't take to machine much. Kinda like that stupid broccoli sneaking the next to your steak, you know? Alright. Miss Star told us something. She says that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a wrong high wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like drinking a hole in a Perry fire. You still investigate the SNL incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It all saw one of the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We heard the names of so many times, but no one tell us exactly what happened. Uh oh. There are some things you better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is official dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The date of our case? That's right. The evidence transfer. Ezra was talking about the transfer too. Jesus Christ. I know what maybe you two and machines now do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well, I like about as much as I like my stew cauliflower with my steaks. The easiest one to understand are his security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing, if nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Ted Cooper are they the ones on those tapes? I reckon they might be. 
You were scared to go and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. Does the card read about the door? The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Okay. Oh. So this is an ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Brown Beamer, I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard of when this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. It says I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove this record tied to the seven. Transfer. Sorry, but could you explain what the whole transfer thing is about? We keep only evidence from solving cases in this room. They kept here under the president and detective supervision for two years. So we we investigate them, it turned out there'd be a mistake, see? So what happened to the evidence after two years? It's go to sleep forever in the underground vault at the county sheriff department. That's what we call a transfer. We do it every February. I see now. Transfer is like a funeral of old cases. Two years after the case is solved, it closed forever. Dead. Now to be opened again. Now to be investigated. And that's what happened to SL9 two days ago. Alright, appreciate that buddy. Now. Move you out the way. Let's go to evidence room, finally. Jesus Christ, you could go to evidence room. Evidence room, set to three. We finally here. It's quite the investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room. It's really kind of a graveyard. Graveyard are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Oh. Wow! What was that? Sorry, I thought you was a ghost. I would recommend going around smacking ghosts in the head, pal. So it's true what I heard. Righto, please do. I have a like a selfish man. Hey, if anyone asks me, sir, I can borrow five fifty dollars. I'll give them fifty dollars, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gat, will loan anyone fifty dollars, even me? Oh, so that's what you were talking about? Actually, I was putting in charge of investigation for the day. Just for today? Boss for the day? But guess what? You got permission for the Chief, so now you're the boss of the day. Gee, thanks. First of all, you don't want to have this. I see him a stabbing detective. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Okay, let's take a look at what he just gave us. I need to take a look at that. I want to take a look and see what this. Oh, okay. All right. So while we're here, might as well ask you some questions. Boss for the day. So, did you have a shoot your boss for the day? That's right. It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're the boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlines? They're using yesterday files to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation. Again. Yep, that sounds about right. I'm animate though. I'm going to take a show and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gunshu? Ha ha ha, of course. I am a detective after all. They gave me a locker that I can open, pal. Only you can open? Edgy. I always believe in Mr. Ezra no matter what happens. So, Ms. Ezra is with the inquiry committee now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess messing up in the court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Ashworth just can't get away from the case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end, Mr. Ashworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card. Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can't be lost. Why? I'm on my third card since issue the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but I even can lose my own right hand. 
Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprints? Exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. So the only locker we can open is our own. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Funny. They look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. They're the trick to handle these. See? The handles? On the other side of the handle is a sensor. And if the wrong person touches it, zap, you get a shock. What? You get a... Wrong voice. Bzz, you get a shock. If that's what happened, my hand will be black and smoky every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the floor who don't know about the fingerprints locks. The ev yeah, I'll take that to the evidence. Alright, cool. Well, thank you. Examine, turn it down, and get your butt out of the way. Get this. It's probably something sticking out there. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence of some case. I wonder if Tetris can actually put this here. There you go, pal. Making me out of some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That says, I bet that evidence line was open recently. How do you know? If Lee didn't take it out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The car checked on that kind of stuff and notified the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathe down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gum should leave evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he does suck in his shirt on the trenches coat eater. If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of him, pal. Alright. Alright. We got this stuff here. Some sort of bulk equipment's got a dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is! Ah, uh, that's my personal pole! I never did get around to use it though. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Right, pal, that's the metal detective. The one that led to the solve the case up that Coral Lake, remember? Oh, right, that's how. That's what it feel like it ages ago. And, hmm, I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that, that's a bug sweeper. I'm sure you'll come ahead to solve the cases sooner or later. That cheap looking box? You can't judge the pressure on the machine by the cover. You gotta look at that heart. Alright. Alright. This place is stuffed with evidence, stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Hmm. It won't open. Do you really think it will open? Hey, pal, our security is high tech around here. Okay, what the hell is this? What's this? Wow, look at this big pile of junk in the corner! That look like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was sort of escape orders and he got away. Hey, that's one of the human profile from rain testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better than him and us. Yeah, better than him and us. Alright, so we can move around a little bit. Oh, yeah, this. What's this? Blood? It's a little warm, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there's all other blood stains left on the floor? We should use her testing floor to check it out. Well, let's check it out then, like she says. We're gonna try this bad boy here. Get. Yeah, we got so many evidence here. And we're gonna spray. Oh my goodness. There we go, we got another one right here. Examine that. Ooh. I knew it! This is someone's right hand print! What? What the matter, detective? This locker is mine! It's yours! Please! You have to help me when they come to take me away! Promise you testify that I wouldn't harm a fly! You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plan. I count on you guys. Believe it. You can trust the police. What? But you're a detective. Okay. Um. Okay, seven. We got a glove here. 
someone left a glove here, but only one. To detect a gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal. Maybe I was some kind of absent minded detective. That evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9? He does have a tag. Well, the glove add to the courtroom. Alright. Alright, so since we got that, let's go ahead and take a look at that glove right quick. Let's go. Enter. Alright, let's see here. There. The tag says SL911. I guess it's another piece of evidence from that case. You know, I never did care for the word tag. It's confusing. Huh? What's so confused about that? Do you know how many other words sound like bag, gag, nag, lag, zag? Zag? Is that a word? Do you challenge me? What? Are we playing a word game now? I like the way how you got to turn this around a little bit, but I think this is it. We ain't gonna get much out of this. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna get much out of that. Okay, so. That is what else we can find. We can... Oh, this is important. Look! This one's open! And the right in the kind of light above the door is lit! That locker is called with Detective Goodwin fingerprints. Detective Goodwin locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we close it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Okay, and we got this. Wow! Someone must have broken something big to make all the pieces. These are the gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal. Make me out some type of hooligan. That's apparently from DK's. The case? The SL9 incident, pal. See the stick on one of those pieces there. Another piece of SL9 incident. Take a closer look. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before what it was broken. You wanna try to put together back together? Sure. Ha! Good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Well, I spent a good three hours on that before I, I had to give up. That's what I was carrying around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's put it the rest back in play. Oh, wow. Perfect. All right, we got it. We got it. All right. Uh, wow. Let's see. Yeah. Eat. No. Mm. This doesn't look right. Oh, he does. Okay, I got it. Turn around again. And, oh. I see. No, that don't look right. No, that's on the side. This just has to be the center. Uh, is this it? No, can't be it. That's what I thought. No, turn around. No, that can't be it. You see, it's one of these two pieces. No, turn it. Okay, no. It has to be. No, turn, turn the thing. Okay. It's gotta be it. There you go. What the hell? Okay. Okay, that's not it either. No, no. Let's see. No, that's not it either. No, that's not it. Uh, let's see. No, turn it. This don't make any sense. No, no turn it. 
Okay, no, he's gotta be one of these pieces over here. Perfect. And we have a gap right here. Oh. No, wait a minute. That's not it? Okay, wait a minute. Could be this. Perfect. Got that too. It's down to two. Wow, that's a big piece right there. Uh, let me see. Can't be it. It had to be this. No, wait a minute. That piece is small. No, wait a minute. Could it be this? No. Okay. This would have to be on top. Would it be this? No, so it had to be this. There you go. Yeah, it had to be that. And then you turn that around. And then you add this. Here we go. You got it. I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in my two minutes myself. The power's finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I can't understand how it got broken. Alright, we got this jar over here. Perfect. Let's see, can we investigate some more? Oh, wait a minute. If you put these pieces together, it'll make a jar. There are two things that's bothering me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, does it seem a little unstable? No one is broke. I'll make sure to remember the next time I make a jar. Okay. And we got this. What is a solid paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. True art? I know there's a blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of a blue badger? Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? Okay. Uh, we got, we sure got everything we needed um, here. We don't need that. We don't need that. Go back over here. We should be good. Okay, we got what we need from here. Talk to you again. No, we should be good. Alright, we should be good. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay. Missing pieces. Hey, look! They're hard to make out, but there are some dark red stains here. Mm, looks like blood. Do you think the tether government blood somehow got on this when you were stabbed? Not likely. This blood has been here like it's been here for months, maybe longer. Did you always ever this an SL9 incident? That might be when the blood got on it. The, the thing about this thing, he might got hit in the head with this thing. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? This thing doesn't have a bottom. That's weird. I... I wonder what side is up. Better yet, what's the purpose of a bottomless jar? At least it doesn't collect dust inside, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, that's interesting here. Maybe somebody was carrying a jar down here the whole time. Let's see, we can't eat spray. Oh, I didn't even see this. Interesting. What am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murder to touch this spot if you flayed out the door. This just might be something to be significant. Hey! That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal! What? This? It's called the my testing fluids! Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where did, where did you get this ammo? I always buy it by mail order. Wow, 
Oh, I better jot down on the floor plans. Talk to him. No. No. Let's see. No, go back. Four plants. Four plants. Where are the four plants? It is right here. Oh, is that your stain? Wait a minute. Go back one more. No. We need to go back. I need to examine some more. There might be more. Let's go back over here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Aluminum, right? Where is it? Here. I want to. I want to spread. Oh, there is more blood. Some of the gun. That must be one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually the alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have X. Well, we got something now, so let's see. Go back here. Um, let's go to the floor plans. The floor plan we should reveal. Here we go, let's see. Yeah, so we got all this. This is I need to. Oh, what is it? Is it now, right? Now that the bloody violin case, violin. So it was a murder. A serial killer. A serial killing. Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Ezra built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Ezra right into the spotlight and started a rumor mill. Rumors? About forged evidence. It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective, detective Goodman was a detective in charge of the SL9 incident. See? So, so that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Hey, pal, look at the time. Was that something you need to be going to? It's just that Ms. Ezra inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to give them my report for the day. It might help, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that say nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Ezra. We're talking about here. I'm sure he can use a port like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies? We have got friends like Detective Gunshoe. I'm all pal. Later. I should probably see what Ezra has to say too. Yeah, let's go get out. Yeah, let's go after him. I would have figured this mess out uh, on the ground. Move. Prosecution. Here we go. Oh, finally. Jesus Christ. I'm looking for something that... What the hell? Oh, I guess. My apologies, sir. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere, sir? Huh? Mr. Ezra, I bet you leave so long, sir. Okay. Is Ezra here? There. Standing by the window and take up in his hand. Oh, there you go, edgy boy. Right. He has a hotel bring him tea service. Mr. Ezra, you're, the, you're back from the district of Costco office in Korea. I am. By the way, Detective Gunshoe was looking for you. Ah, yes, he brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is open near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. And the real info is on the other side, as word. Poor Mr. Ezra, I think this whole thing was really taking a toll on him. 
Oh, we need to talk, buddy. Inquiry. So, how did Inquiry Committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communication error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I conceal evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I heard them say it so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Alright. Are you okay for a trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still beside prosecutor attorney. However, something happened. They gave control of the investigation over the police department. The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police, Gant. I can't do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why ask? Why I ask you? Why? All along I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still. Wow, I never see him out of sorts. Okay. We need to show you something there, buddy. Um, let's see. Where do we show you? What do we show you? Can we show you this? No, 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 no. We need to show you something. Back out. Present. Upon the lock of detail. Yeah, show you this. Oh, right. I better check this now. As I was saying, I. What's this? A wreck of ID uses? ID call uses? That's where you went to the evidence room that day, did you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go, but Chief Grant, no less. The Chief of Police! He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never the one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbing, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. This really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. There it is. Stubborn as always, I told you to say nothing to do with the current case. Really? Alright, let's see. We got a lot of evidence here. Let's take a look at this crap here. Yeah, let's see what we got. What's this? Ah, it's just, the tag say AI 16. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Ezra says. Hmm, that makes it seem almost suspicious. Who knows? This might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, let's get out of it. Alright, let's see here. Let's see if we'll present something. Oh, I got this wrong again. Come on, let's see. He must be talking about the his father murder in that elevator. Okay, Ashbury, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Oh, we gotta ask him some questions about that. There we go. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Gantz. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too then. He was a top officer and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why I was a deputy chief of police on investigation. And true, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We was dealing with a vicious murder. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't? Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. Mom, my sister? What? If you were still studying for forensic science, Huh? Yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Wright, I was using this. Aluminum testing fluid, huh? Well then, you might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints? It's been currently treated for better adhesion. 
For me? Are you sure? Well, we ought to. Anyway, you know. I know, say today's investigation. Do as you will. That's right, I'm really. No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingers and files for everyone involved. I, uh. How about giving these to Teddy Gumshoe as well? Fingerprints set for file received. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do see remember seeing suspicious handprints somewhere. All right. Let's do it. So where do we start? Uh, let's move to the underground. Let's move to police department. Yeah, police department. Actually, you go police department. Then we move. Criminal affairs. Crime station. And move inside the evidence room. Our investigation has turned on suspicious handprint. Here is the blood on the detective evidence locker. Let's use the second work we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that we left that we have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger! Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma started to get that spark in her eyes. First, we speak a Louis Palmer around. Huh? How you do that? We're in her, see? Completely to the print. Once the product is spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? But hey, you say I know. Imagine you're blowing out the candles of a birthday cake. See? Wow, candles like they were so used It's fine. You just pour the powder in and blow away the extra. Those are the basic things. I guess you better try. How you do it? I wonder how to do this stuff here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get all this. That fill a whole page up, matter of fact. I wanna check this mess out here. And let's see, what was blow uh it was E? Aha, uh -huh, you did it, you found one! Yep. 
But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess it does it. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this paper must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we're wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigation. But it does seem a shame. Why, well, hey, why we look for other fingerprints? Other fi other prints? Look at the locker closely against... Looking at the locker door again closely. And sees there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Fingerprints outside of blood. Okay. Okay. Let's... Alright. We got something here. Uh oh. We got something. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Don't do that. Right about here. There you go. There we go. We got something here. We got something. We got something here. We got something. Yes, we got it. We got it. We got something here. All right. Uh, and Eve. Whoa. Oh, yay! It print so clear. It's dazzling. Dazzling. Anyway, this print lost a lot of effort to find. Okay. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no point finding a fingerprint and not knowing who's on it is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And put out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to do how am I supposed to know who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So who fingerprints will most likely find on this evidence locker? Oh. Mmm. Let's try him. Yeah, let's try him. No match. All right, so it's not him. Hmm. No match. Come on. How am I supposed to know to guess who are there? Isn't it obvious? The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means the prints probably don't have anything to do with the case. They most likely belong to the owner of this locker. S something's wrong. I would just take it if you're so sure, why don't you pass your fingerprint? Mr. Wright! I was doing this for your benefit, so you learned! Fine, fine. Let me think. Who could have left these prints? Hmm, let's see. Okay. Huh. Look like his. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong with the right? Ye you gave me this. So what? Look. I guess it's probably because I was thinking. So what? Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Oh, man, that went too fast. There was one other handprint in the room. Let's check it out. Yeah. Right over here. This is where we got an aluminum for reaction, right? Right. There was a handprint here. Okay, want to try use this? Let's go for uh, sparking again. Let's check for prints. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, I have to worry about something first. What? 
the area with the blood was wiped away, right? We we only in the funny but use the chemical means. In the president area we're having wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means so that means no prince. Would you say that the profit of your hopkins is high? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that were wiped away. Prints other than the one left by the bloody hand? Okay. That was here? Okay, let's see. I don't remember seeing that. And it was so dark and red, we couldn't even see who it was. Alright, let's see. Yeah. There is up a little bit. There is up a lot. Make sure you get some. Right, put it over here. Prints. Get prints here. Oh dang, we got this looking real good. Get this here. Get this there. Over here. Get close mess. What? Oh, that's not good enough? Shoot. What have been in? We gotta get a whole print here. This has to be everything. Make sure we get all these prints. Oh, we got it! Hmm. Okay, we had to slot it. Okay, let's try you. Let's see. Oh, we compare. Oh, that's a heck of a match. Jay Marshalls. Hey, these fingerprints there. Who are those? Who's? Is someone I know? It's Officer Marshalls. Huh? Officer Mar Jake Marshalls? Marshalls fingerprints. Yes, it is. That's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma, this is deciding difference from Detective Gunshoe's prints. The bloom line reaction, the blood and fingerprints are the same place. Oh, oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on the white blood st stains. But why were Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you call a deci decisive evidence? I, I don't believe it. No, it doesn't? No. Oh man, my goodness, to be continued. Oh. Oh man, this took, this took me almost forever to film this because I have to try to make sure do a lot of running around, trying to um, get the right dialogue, and then I have a hard time with the fingers press while I finally got through it. Now I gotta do some more editing. But thank you everybody for watching. Uh, finish right Ace Attorney gameplays as we get down to business to find out whose finger press it is. And we have another person we may have to put on stand. And this guy is Officer Jake Marshalls. We'll be back until next time. Uh, if you like the video, you can press the like button, press the subscribe button, or so make comments in the video, and we'll be back until next time. I am out.